Well, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. So, last year, I said one of the contributing factors to my um, speediness of being able to put up camp, take camp down, and move on to the next adventure, or next uh, place, when overlanding was the speed of putting up my tent. And I will have to say, I could put it up in about 15, 20 minutes by myself, no problem. Somebody helping, probably get up in five. Well, I said, if I had a chance to get a um, gazelle, that would help my speediness and my able to get up, get camp set and done, and take it down and be done. So, as I step out of the picture, I got a gazelle. This is the T4 in Alpine Green. Um, it's an eight by eight with, uh, I forgot the height dimension, so I'll put it below. But uh, I put this up in a matter of about a minute and a half. And that's the first time I've ever set the thing up. I'm really impressed with the materials this thing's made out of. The, the thickness of the walls. Now I can tell you something else too. It's kind of a cool day today. It's in the, yeah, it's 55. Um, it's not as cool as it was yesterday. But before I started unzipping the windows and stuff in this tent, I could tell a big difference already in the thickness of the fabric and how warm it was already in the tent, just putting it up. Um, it does have the dual doors, front and rear. So you could do that however you wanted to. If, you know, say the person is sleeping over there wants to go out that door, they could, whatever. The other thing I like too is once you get it set up like this, now I've got it staked out because it is windy today. And I will say with the wind, it, has, it wasn't a problem putting it up. And getting those walls to snap out, like that, easy. Um, the Velcro floor, I probably won't, ever, I won't take it out anytime soon, but you can take it out. Um, I've always, I've heard that once you take it out the first time, it's hard to get back in right the second time. But what I would do if it was me and you're wanting to clean it real good is vel un velcro a little small section, sweep everything to that section, get it out, velcro it back up. That would be that easy. Um, now, the difference between this one and the Overland Edition is different stakes and you get a uh, footprint for it. Well, just like any other tent, I don't use factory stakes anyway. Go to Walmart and get the nail style um, stakes. And what I always do is I put my orange, bright colored ones, up around where the doors are so we can see them. And then where I got out, now I haven't even guided this thing out right now. This thing's not even guided out. It's only staked down. But you guide from where the walls come out you got there you got four locations so it would be there's a total of three four five six seven eight stakes that hold it down so you need another four more to guide it out which is no, that's no big deal they're a dollar a piece at walmart get them um the other thing i would do i mean if you really want the overland edition all it is is gazelle tents and overland edition that's the difference I think the pockets on the inside are a little bit bigger on the um, inside your gear pockets. I'll take you in a little bit and we'll show you around. But for that extra hundred and something dollars it is to get the Overland Edition, stop. Don't do it. I mean, it's a good looking tent. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't spend the extra money just to get a ground cloth and stakes. Would not do it. Um, I'm happy with this. I'm I'm thrilled with this, actually. I'm ready to go camping. I am. This is the one thing that was slowing me down. This is the one thing that was keeping me from actually overlanding like I wanted to do last year, was how long it took me to get that other tent put up. Now that I've got this, that changes everything. It's game changing. So anyway, I said if I got me a gazelle, then I would do some overlanding this year, last year. Well, I got a gazelle. Now I'm going to start doing some overlanding because I can get this thing up pretty quick. 
And like I said, the bathtub floor, all the amenities, all the windows inside. Well, I'll take you here in just a minute. We'll take you inside and take a look. And uh, I'm I'm stoked. I am totally stoked to this thing. So we'll be back. We'll go inside. Okay, let's take a quick look on the inside. You've got two windows in that corner, two windows in this corner. There's your door. And of course, same setup behind me. Then you've got a gear net up here that can be... Yeah, this can be moved around. Actually, it's not deployed all the way. It goes across here. That's where you snatch it down. Snatch down the tent when you're taking it down. So you got a gear pocket there, there, and one back over here by, on the other side of the camera. And one right out, right, if I can get out of the way enough, right there. So it's got four gear pockets. So... Now, I can't totally stand up in it, but that's <laughs> nothing new to me. I'd have to have a seven foot tall tent to be able to stand up in the thing. But I'm really impressed with the hardware and everything in it, the way it sets up. Um, all these pocket, oh, wait a minute, let me see if I can get, these right here are protecting the mechanism and it's padded. So love the zippers on everything all the zippers seem to be really nice zippers so i'm going to show you the zippers real quick on the windows they're pretty it's pretty tight zippers pretty tough zippers i think if i'm not mistaken i think they're, I think they're ykk doesn't say but i can tell you right now just from zipping it up i can tell a big difference in here as far as the wind blowing the warmth already so I'm happy with the purchase, happy with the tent. I'm ready to start camping for the year. I'll catch you on the outside. So I'm pretty happy with this thing, with this gazelle. Um, now it's time to get it out and prove it. Uh, I know there's been plenty of people that have gotten out and proven these things already, but it's time to get it out there and prove it to myself that this was worth it. Um, I think it is. I, I really do. Feeling the materials on it, feeling, you know, everything about this thing, it just tells me it's, you know, it's a quality tent, it's a quality piece. So, with all that said, I appreciate you watching. Be prepared, and we'll see you on the next one.